Today we're at the Spokane Humane Society at 6607 North Havana Street. The Humane Society will be hosting their 20th annual furball event this November the 16th at 5 p.m. Your donations will help these loving animals in need of a home. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Order your tickets and get more information at www.spokanehumanesociety.org slash events or call 509-467-5235. Hey guys, it's Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a college Q&A video. Let's get into it. So the first question you might have is, what the heck did you just watch? And I have a good answer for that. <laughs> so that is my commercial that I filmed and created for my Writing for Mass Media final. We had to pick a nonprofit organization and make a commercial, write a news release on it, um, stuff like that. So that is what you just watched. Hope you enjoyed it. And now let's get into some more exciting questions. I have my computer right here, so I'm gonna be like looking here to read the questions. Um, first question is, why did you choose the college you're going to? And my answer is, I didn't actually choose this college. I was kind of forced to go here. Um, it was my last option of colleges and they gave me some good scholarship. So I was kind of like pushed to go to Whitworth. So here I am. <laughs> the next question is, what is your favorite thing about your school? Um, I would say a lot of different things. I actually love my school, so kind of everything, but probably the top thing I like about my school is meeting with professors. Um, two of my favorite people here are professors. Um, one of them is my writing professor, and then the other one is my intro to the Bible professor, and I just like meet with both of them, get to know them, and yeah. <laughs> the next question is, what is dorm life like? Dorm life is great and terrible all at the same time. So I live in the biggest dorm on campus, so there's a lot of kids all the time. Um, we have nice quiet hours, so it's usually pretty quiet, which is great. Um, this, like, the thing I was most scared about coming to college was showering because I was like, how am I gonna like walk to the shower? And is there gonna be people in the bathroom? Is it gonna be awkward? And pretty much I like worried for no reason. There's nothing to be worried about. Dorm life is fine. My roommate and I get along great. So I, I like where I live. It's great. <laughs> what is your favorite place on campus and why? I would probably say the hub because there's a coffee shop there and I like to study there. Or going upstairs, there's nice like tables where I study. And then in the hub is like food, meals, and like I like to study where I eat too. So it's like my three favorite places to study in one building. It's great. <laughs> the next question is, is a car necessary? I would say no. I really miss my car and I wish it was here, but I do have a bunch of friends with cars so I can always ask someone for a ride. Um, I usually don't because I always feel bad asking like, hey, can you use your gas on me? But there are people with cars. Cars are not necessary, especially your freshman year of college. <laughs> Um, what activities do you wish the college had but do not have at this time? I wish my school had a dance team because we all know I love to dance. I'm a dancer. Big shocker there. Um, they don't have a dance team. They just have cheerleaders and I'm not into like that kind of peppy cheer. So yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to look up juicier college questions because I can't think of anything myself. So I'm looking things up, but they're all boring. And I know you guys want the juicy drama. So we're looking for that. And this is kind of a funny question. This question is, how's the food? <laughs> Literally everyone here complains about the food 24 seven. So I would say it's not great. How are the dorms? Depends on where you're living. I live in Warren biggest dorm so lots of people I said that already it's great if you're living in BJ it's an all freshman dorm so it's loud 24 7 and there's people always in there because it's just freshmen going crazy 
Then there's like the hotel, which is called Oliver, and it's literally the nicest place you will ever, it's beautiful. Then there's like Duval for like juniors and seniors, and you're like only older or cool if you live there. Yeah, kind of depends on where you're going, where you're living. Is there a lot of school spirit? <laughs> this school has like no school spirit. It's okay. I wish there was more, but it's fine. Are the students here friendly? Most of them, yes. There's some that are like, okay, there's only one girl that I think I've met that's like kind of stuck up. Would you rather stay in or go to a party? Both, equally? Speaking of parties, are they fun? Depends on the parties you go to. Cause there's like parties at the manor, best parties ever. Parties at like some random kid's house, super bad and will get shut down in like two seconds. Um, have you gotten drunk yet? No, not about that life. Don't wanna do that. Have you gotten close to anyone, female or male? What? Um, are you overwhelmed? <laughs> Literally 24 seven. I'm always stressed, but that's okay. <coughs> have you developed any bad habits? Probably eating cookies because there's free desserts in the hub every single day. And so I'm like, I deserve a cookie today, but I say that every single day. So it's like, do I really need a cookie? No, I can't find any more good questions. So I'm just gonna give you some advice. Number one college advice is if you're thinking of like going to a school, find some people on Instagram and DM them and be like, hey, I think I'm gonna come to the school that you're going to, for me, like Whitworth, and just say, can you tell me a little bit about the campus, about dorm life, about um, teachers here? Like, just ask a bunch of questions because then you're getting a student's perspective who actually lives here. And you can kind of see like, oh, she really hates this aspect or she really loves this aspect. That's what I did. And I texted a couple different people from like three different schools. And I found that like the best feedback was from Whitworth in a different school. And so, I don't know, getting a student's perspective is probably the best advice. I can give you. <laughs> That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.